So our bag is now complete. Um, all we've got to do is pop our rope in. So let's start at the bottom. I have my rope. Now this is a nylon rope, so it's been sealed by burning. I'll show you a way of covering that because it looks quite unsightly um, once I've threaded it. So we're going to go in through the bottom hole on that um, strap connector. Now you can see that the rope is in the middle. And I just pull it through a little bit. So I've got enough purchase to then push it back through the top grommet. I find that if I just try and push it through, it's just almost impossible. Now I'm, I've got quite a lot of rope here, but I'm not gonna actually cut any rope until I know how big, I, how long I want it. So I've come all the way through, so I've got some slack, and I've come to the first hole. This is the um, connector that's on the left of this central seam. So the first hole to the left of the central seam, I'm just gonna go through. And I'm going to go all the way around the top. Going in. And out. So you're effectively weaving through all of the holes. Now you'll notice at the front, the holes are much closer together. And there is a reason for that. Um, when this bag is, is, is scrunched up, scrunched up, folded, pulled up, shall we say, gathered up, I'm not sure what the right word is, it means you don't end up with, it's, it just, you need to be careful because it does twist itself sometimes, you won't end up with a great big bit sticking out the front. Um, I'll show you once it's all threaded up what I mean, because that doesn't make much sense when I say it, even when I say it to myself and I know what I mean. So I'm just going to keep going in and out. It kind of makes me want to sing, but you probably don't want me to do that. Now this is a 10 millimetre rope. At a push you could use an 8 millimetre rope, however, anything less than that I think would probably be quite uncomfortable on your shoulder. Um, this is quite a big bag and because it's quite a big bag you're likely to put things, a lot of stuff in it. Um, and if you're carrying it on your shoulder, six, six millimetre rope, I think would probably just be really uncomfortable. I like this nylon woven stuff because it's smooth. Um, the twisted rope that you can get is lovely, but it does, it always makes a dent on my shoulder and I don't like that. So you can see we've just come back out of the, the, the hole that's on the side of the seam. I'm gonna go, down and through the top of the other connector and put it through and out through the bottom one. Now I'm going to pop a, a knot in there to stop it from going any further and once I've put the knot in I'm just going to pull it so that knot sits nice and far down. Now, if you were using a cotton rope that's got no core to it, this has got a nylon core and a nylon core is white, you can just cut off any um, burnt end and you just fray it, it looks really cool. However, this sort of thing doesn't look quite so cool. So let me show you how we're going to fix that or how I'm gonna fix it. First of all, I've cut myself a little circle of fabric and from the sides of that circle, so to make, I've almost made a, a sort of a Maltese cross. I haven't measured that, it's not a perfect circle. Um, but the piece, piece in the middle, the sort of, if you like a circle in the middle, is bigger than the circumference of my rope. So I'm going to just pop a little bit of um, Fabri-Tac on the wrong side of this. You could do it with a glue stick, but I don't actually have a glue stick to hand. Um, this just kind of helps to keep it in place. So I'm going to take the end of my rope and I'm going to pop it sort of centrally onto that piece of, into that circle. And I'm going to push the two sides down. So now what I've got is a, almost looks like a university scholar's hat. And I'm going to wrap the sides of that, those two pieces sort of round my, 
cord around my rope. I'm going to do exactly the same with the other two sides. Pulling it nice and tight. Now that that uh, end is nicely covered. Oh, I had a moment there where it said I was running out of um, battery. Now, if you've got um, embroidery floss that matches either your fabric or whatever, you could use that. I don't have any embroidery floss, so I'm going to use ordinary thread. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I normally put this in a pot, but I haven't actually got a pot to hand. Let's, you know, let's see if I can put something. Otherwise, it's just going to jump everywhere. I know it is. It probably will anyway. I'm going to put it down there. So I've just, I'm just going to keep winding this round. Embroidery thread is much better. So I'm just winding the thread around. Now, I'm just going to put a little drop of glue which will just help this thread to stay where it needs to be. Sorry about that tinkle tinkle noise, that's the thread in the plastic pot that I put it in, otherwise it will be all across my floor. Once you've got that all nice and secure, you need to make sure that the whole of that fabric panel is covered with your thread. a self-threading needle and you're going to basically kind of finish it off in much the same way as you would any stitch line so I'm just gonna stitch into the rope um, a couple of times just pushing my needle through the threads to secure it all the same way as you would if you'd been sewing a button on or done any other stitching. Now I can actually, I could actually make that um, not a bit further down. In fact, I'm going to try and do that. Maybe I shouldn't have tightened it quite as much as I did. Um, So there we go, that's covered the end of our, our piece of rope and you've just got a nice little red end on there. You could use whatever colour, but I mean, I've got red because that's the colour of my bag. And once I've kind of got this all together, I can tighten it up and figure out how long I want my straps. And this will depend if you close the bag. Let me just too much on one side and not enough on the other. Now this is what I was going to show you when I said about um, there being more, got it very unevenly done, um, more on one side than there is on the other. So here we go, look, this will show you. That little fold at the front is much, much smaller. It doesn't stick too far out than the ones on the side so the bag doesn't kind of poof out the front when you're wearing it. Um, so you can decide at that point, a bit over your shoulder, 
whether you're going to wear it over your shoulder, whether you're going to wear it as a backpack, whether you're going to wear it across your body, um, how much rope you actually need. And I think I've probably got a bit too much there, so I'm going to shorten this a little bit and pull this through a bit more. And cut off what's left. And because this is nylon, it really will unravel. So you need to very quickly use a flame. To seal that end make sure that you push the ends in otherwise it tends to splay out and you'll end up with what well, looks like a flying saucer on the end if you're touching it lick your fingers first because otherwise you'll burn yourself and you'll end up with a nice sealed end and you can do exactly the same with this one i will actually put this on before i put my knot in so i don't have to undo it again So my original circle was approximately two and a quarter inches circular and then those four little just they're just little um triangles that are cut out on the sides to just reduce the bulk as you as you fold it round so just popping it on the end taking the two sides down so that I get the sort of university uh, hat graduates they're called a mortarboard isn't it um, wrap those those bits around and do the same with the other two to give you that nice end then your thread so if you've got embroidery floss um, that would work that's that's actually better than ordinary thread I don't have any I don't have much in the way of embroidery floss, floss because that would imply that I did hand sewing and I don't really do that um, so once you've got going just a little drop of glue just to secure all this binding I'm just going to repeat what you did on the other one until the fabric is all covered um, and that's pretty much it congratulations you've finished your doodle duffel bag uh, doodle kit bag even um, Apologies, it was, I had originally intended to call it a duffel bag until I realised that in America, a duffel bag is a very different shape. This is a traditional duffel bag in the UK, it's what we would call a duffel bag. Um, so hence we had to rethink the name. Um, somewhere in my head, she's still a duffel bag. Um, thank you for joining me and I'll see you again for the next pattern.